Paul, how are you? Good, thanks, Matt. Uh, I've got a couple of questions. Um, how much do you watch the Saints this season and uh, what do you think of it and what do you think could be achieved? I've not seen a lot, to be honest, uh, due to obviously playing the, the Saturdays. Uh, what I have seen is, uh, as I've been impressed with, obviously most recently the game on Saturday against Forfar, I thought very professional in their approach and, and kind of blew them away, to be honest with you, without giving Forfar a chance to, to get a footing in the game. Uh, Achievement-wise, I, th I really think they have to be now looking at, at getting to the, the Scottish Cup final and if they can do that, depending on who they, they get on the day, anybody's got a great opportunity winning that cup now. Um, obviously you're our birth manager, what are your aims for the rest of the season? And uh, you've obviously signed Kenny Duker. It aims for the season now, unfortunately we need to get out of the position we're in. Uh, we're struggling at the, the wrong end of the table, so our main aim now is to try and catch his five first and foremost. Uh, I think it's too big an ass now to make the playoffs, unfortunately. Um, so we, we really need to get out of the, uh, the relegation zone as soon as possible. Uh, signing Duker, hopefully it will be a good signing for us. He's not played a lot of football recently. Uh, but he's, he's keen to get back into it. He's, he showed a great attitude in training. We played a game against Clyde on Friday night and he done exceptionally well in that game. So we're delighted to get him on board and if he can emulate half as much as he achieved in the, the early stages of his career, we'll have, we'll have found a decent striker. Um, what was your favourite moment with Saints, uh, your time at Saints? Uh, obviously promotion, getting promoted uh, to the Premier League when we beat Morton here 3-1 uh, was an, a great occasion to be involved in. It was the first title I'd managed to win, so it was massive from a personal point of view. But the group we won the league with was a, a great group of players and it was uh, really good to achieve it with them. Um, obviously say you're in a dressing with great characters, have you got sort of any funny stories from your birthdays? Uh, no, no really, any that probably I could divulge to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they, they, were, they were a really good bunch, really close spirit about the dressing room we had at that stage. Uh, it seems to be fair, that's continued, you can see that uh, as a group of players and management, they, they have that same spirit within them and hopefully that will help them go to the cup final and beyond maybe this season. And how does part-time football differ from full-time football? It's a massive difference, massive difference, basically time scale, yeah, preparation, everything that comes with it. It's, it's so difficult yeah, at part-time level because you're only four hours a week if you're lucky on the training ground and it's not easy to cram uh, a week's work into that to prepare for a Saturday. You're also asking players to come and after a, a long day's work to, to jump in their car, grab a quick sandwich on the way through or something from a garage and, and then perform. Uh, on the training ground and on the pitch some nights as well if they're midweek so it's difficult it's difficult but that's a, the way it works in Scotland there's a lot of part-time clubs and it's hopefully a stepping stone for, for people to, to go into full-time management And uh, what's your favourite match you've played in during your career? Uh, favourite individual game is it probably uh, as manager player manager at Arbroath when we, we won the title against our local rivals Montrose beat them 4-1 and that, that was the day we clinched the title so that's probably a favourite all-time one. And have you got a, a proudest moment in uh, football? Again, that, that to, to win the league as a, a player and a manager was extremely uh, proud to have done that and it, it was the first title that our brother had ever managed to win in their 133 year history. That along with obviously winning the, the league at St Johnston as well was, was a massive achievement. And obviously uh, one man who's been making the headlines for the season is uh, Stevie May. What do you think can be achieved there? Yeah, I think potentially is, is, the, the world is oyster at the minute. Goal scorers are few and far between and, and Steve has now proven himself at, at the lower levels throughout the last couple of seasons and, and now stepped up to Premier League level and, and scoring on a regular basis and with that comes the interest from, from clubs down south and, and I'm sure when the, the right club comes along Steve will make the right decision and, and do what he thinks best for his, his future. That's all, thanks Paul. Thank you.